8. Today I'm here to talk to you about number properties. Now, number properties, or this word, to break it down, I can look at it as a character of numbers or a behavior. I think you know these words. So numbers have properties or behaviors that govern how they react in any formula or method you're asking, you've been asked to do. So these, the only reason as to why I'm teaching you this is that it's going to be helpful in your basic operation. By basic operation, I'm talking about times, addition, division, and minus. So that's why we're learning this, so that it makes your life simpler when you're multiplying or dividing or anything, you see that. So the first property we're going to be looking at is commutative. And when you look at this word, it comes from the word to commute, to move. So for example, you, your house is here, and then the tree is here. Moving to here, it's going to cover you one meter. And then moving the other side, you're going to cover one meter. So whether you're from this side to this side, it's still one meter. So that's what we call the commutative, it's still the same. So I'll give you an example, 1 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 1. They've been interchanged, but the result is still the same, you're still going to get 4. I'll give you another one, 3 times 4, see that? And then it's going to be the same as 4 times 3. It's commuting, it's just moving numbers, but the result remains the same, all the answer remains the same. Another property we look at today is associative. Now, associative comes from the word association or being friends or being together in a group. Together. I will use in math, we usually have these brackets. Now, I can give you an example 1 plus 2 plus 3, pardon my marker, is going to be the same as 2, let's say 2 plus 3, sorry, 2 plus 1. The answer will always be the same. They are associating, but they still have an answer. Consider you having a group of friends, and then you walk into the room, you find two and three together, and then you come in. You're still going to be many people in the room. Whether I come into the room, and then your friend comes into the room, and then somebody else comes into the room, they're still going to have the same answer. The same thing happens even with multiplication. If you have this, let's say, it's going to be the same as 3 times 2 times 2. I hope you can see clearly. So, this, the answer remains the same. It's just that they're looking different or they're associating or they're being grouped by others. So you're going to find this in, in all your work that you'll be doing, most especially when it requires you to use bed mask. Just know that, that the associative property is in place and it will help you find the answer. Usually we find answers that are quite difficult. Now I'll give you an example, 4 plus 3 plus 6. And I know that it's easier to add 6 plus 4 because it's easier to get a 10. Why don't I put 4 plus 6 in a group? I associate them and then I just add the 3 to get my answer easily. So that's how you find yourself using this. This one, the commutative property, you use it most of the time, maybe if you have word problems. If you know about this property, then it won't have, you know that whatever, whichever way I write my word is going to remain the same or it's going to still give me the same answer. So commutative, the same answer, or the numbers are just switching places. And then associative, it's just that they're in groups, but they still give you the same answer whether you've written them a different way. So now, the most interesting one is the identity property. I want to look at it as numbers that have powers. So, we, we're mainly going to be looking at 0 and 1 in this case. Now, I'll start with multiplication. Any number times 1 is going to remain the same. Nothing is going to change. Nothing whatsoever. And any number plus 0, the answer is going to remain the same. So these have an identity, they remain with their identity. This 0 and this minus have an identity. However, when you move the 0 and put it in 2 times, you're going to find that then 0 has powers, more powers than it had here. In addition and multiplication, 
zero doesn't have powers, but if you have zero times five, you're going to see that this is going to lose its value. You see that? So this zero property is under, it, it's usually looked at as a zero property, but you can also look at it as an identity because it has that distinct identity. You can't mistake it. Anything you always find with zero times, you're going to get a zero. And any number plus zero is that number. Any number times one is that number. Be careful. Not, I've not said one plus five remains the same. It's times. So that's what we call the identity property. Now, the distributive, distributive property is more of the same as the associative property that we looked at here. It's just that we're distributing rows. Consider yourself distributing rows. So if I, I gave you, let me use a red pen. If I give you, let's say, five, brackets, five, my marker doesn't work, five times two plus five. Okay, you see that? If I want to distribute rows and make it easier for me, uh, this is basically, if you understand this, it means multiply 5 with these. So it's going to be 5 times 2 plus 5 times 5. You see that? So now I'm distributing or I'm making the question bigger. And that's where I'll get the answer. So then you will then get the answer. You already know the answer. I don't want to be doing the answers right now. But that's basically the distributive property that we'll be looking at. And you'll find these are very helpful when you're dealing with multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. So please remember these properties and remember that these numbers have rules. The commutative property, the associative property, identity property, and the distributive property. If you have any questions, please call me, talk to me, text me, I'll be here to help you. And if I've been wrapping through this, I, can, I have individual videos that I've been sending to you that actually dwell so much on one of these. So I have one on commutative, associative, identity and distributive. Thank you.